What is going on everyone? It is early spring and we are out here at it. Uh, as I talked about in my March lawn chores, if you haven't seen it, go back and check that out. I'll link it down in the description. Uh, it's time to get this landscape cleaned up. So I'm gonna show you the process on what I go through just to clean up my live edges. If you need to know how to create a live edge, I'll link some videos down in the description for you to go check them out. But we're gonna get out here and we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. It's that time of year right before we get this first mowing. All right, let's get after it. There's a number of ways for us to refresh that live edge that we've already got existing, but hey, this is the way I do it and we only need a couple of things. So we're gonna step back here in the garage and see what do we really need. All right, the one thing we're gonna need first it's going to be a nice little triangle hole is what I like to call it. And the next thing is going to be a nice half moon edger. And the third and final thing that we're going to need is going to be a quality pair of work boots. And that's going to be a shout out to today's sponsor for this video, which is going to be Brunt Workwear. So I've been rocking the Kasparian soft toes for about six months now. Uh, I've used them out in the lawn. I've used them, uh, scouting for next hunting season, cutting trails, everything else. Um, and they've kept my feet warm, dry, and they've been comfortable after hours of wearing them. So right now they get my 100% support on them. I'm gonna keep them wearing them uh, throughout the season and we'll see how they perform. So uh, you can check them out. Uh, I got a link right here on the screen so you can check them out and see which pair you might like. And they also have steel toes uh, for you guys that need uh, a lot of protection on the jobs that you're going to be working with. So one of the things that I used to actually forget to do um, in the past was actually sharpen my tools. Uh, these tools here, uh, one of the things about them is they are cutting tools, especially your half moon edger. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're putting a sharp, crisp edge on those just like you do with your mower blades. So we're gonna get these tools sharpened up and then we're gonna get out there and I'm gonna show you exactly the process that I do, which is gonna be quick and simple. Anybody can do it. So this is gonna be pretty simple. Uh, the good thing about having an established edge is it doesn't take a lot. So normally I like to start from right here on the uh, end and then I like starting in the middle uh, of an edge. All you wanna do is start right here on the end. This is where a good pair of boots come in because you're gonna be using them. So some people like to come in and do a flick, a press and kick. And then all you're doing is just going in and you're just kicking out, making that edge. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of, of, of the kick. Um, I think people have gotten that process down and they're pretty good at it. Um, so they can do all of this with just a half moon edger. I haven't quite got there yet. So the way I like to do it is I just like to cut my edge. Boom, and this is all I gotta focus on. Is cutting that edge. You don't necessarily have to take a whole lot off of it. You're really just shaping it. And what we're doing is we're just cutting right along that edge. And typically you may hit a root like I did just now. You just keep right on going, following your existing edge. Go another rock or root or something right there. We're just gonna keep right on going. And we're gonna keep cutting the edge in. So once we've got that edge cut, so now we've got a nice vertical edge here that we can see. We're just gonna come back in. This is where our triangle hole comes in. 
And now that we've dug in there and we've cut that edge a little bit, we can just come back and clean this up. And the good thing is, is that one, the point sits right down in the bottom of uh, the edge that we just established. And then the side that we've got here rides right along the vertical edge. And it is very quick and easy to do until you hit a root, just like I did right there. A lot of people ask me, what do I do with roots and how do I take care of those? I just go over top of it. I make the edge as best as I can. I'm not gonna dig up a whole tree root or anything like that. So boom, we're good. It's just that simple. We get down to this corner and then we clear out all our extra. So we're gonna come back and clean this up with some mulch and everything. That's the concept of how we're gonna clean this up. Now we can see what this edge looks like. It's nice, it's clean, it's defined. If we wanna do it now or if we wanna do it after we make our first mow, we can come in with our string trimmer and clean this right up and we'll be good to go just like regular maintenance. All right, so I did forget to tell you one thing that you are gonna need and that's a rake. And what I like to do is just feather in that sole into this top slope that we've got here. And we're gonna come back in and remulch all of this in anyway. So now that we've got all of that established, I like to come in and just press that down in with my boots. Another reason. <laughs> To have a good pair of boots on and we're good to go on this part This is a quick and easy task that you can do. I'm not gonna say quick, but an easy task to do. Uh, throw some tunes on, get out there, get out there in the yard. It is time for us to get back out here. Uh, this is how it looks coming out of winter and I'll get all of these cleaned up and it's a simple process to go out here and do it. Uh, only thing I did was actually maintain it throughout all of last season with my string trimmer. I'll do that again this year. Uh, so once you have these live edges established, it's not very hard to maintain them and also to sharpen them up at the beginning of the season. So with that, as I always say, just know we work. <laughs>